right, good evening everyone. Uh, welcome to the uh, uh, Lakeville Open Space Committee uh, meeting Thursday, September 5th, uh, 6 p.m. It's now 6.04 at the Lakeville Senior Center. Um, in attendance is uh, myself, David Zalonis, Chairman, and um, you know, Bob Wilson, uh, Vice Chair, Deputy Boyajan, Boyajan and uh, Lynn Morley, and, and Brian Reynolds, and not present, uh, Joan Morton and um, Liz Nash. Lake Cam is recording the meeting. Is anybody else recording? No. All right, this uh, meeting is called to order. Uh, first item is review and approval of the July 11th meeting minutes. And uh, it's from uh, you know, two meetings ago. Has everybody viewed those? Any discussion? Any uh, motion to approve? Motion to approve. Second. Second. Okay. Thank you. Um, vote to uh, approve the, the meeting minutes. Say aye. 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 It's unanimous. Um, next agenda item is to review and approve the August 1st meeting minutes. And um, any discussion on the August 1st meeting minutes? Well, do I have a, a motion to approve? Motion to approve. And a second? Second. Okay. And uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, that was unanimous. All right, the uh, next agenda item, uh, committee commission updates and the APC, and they, uh, you know, no, nothing new posted since the last meeting, uh, the SWAPs at Pond Complex. Uh, the Conservation Commission, actually there were no new um, meeting minutes or agendas posted since the last meeting as well that I saw. But I, I do want to point out there was uh, in the previous uh, agenda uh, packets, there was a very good write-up on the Lakeville Hospital redevelopment and then all the details were in there. So if anybody wants to look at that, that's in there. But I didn't see anything else new. Uh, the Historical Commission, uh, Brian? Well, we, uh, we were going to do a cemetery tour, but we haven't really got organized to do it. Uh, so we're planning to do it in the springtime. Okay. Um, I know I had asked Joan for any inputs, you know, if she couldn't make the meeting. And let's see, she did say on... Okay, so the resetting of the stones at the Thompson Hill Cemetery is close to completion. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was yeah, all yes. We, there's some work that has to be done there, yeah. and then then we'll do our tour. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks, Brian. Um, <clears throat> the Community Preservation Committee. Liz, are you are you on that yet? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Any status update? Uh, no, I don't know anything about no. the CPC. No. no. Are, are you attending their meetings anyways? Or? I haven't. No. Okay. I think uh, that was Liz that was going to do that, right? Were you going to do it too? Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was Liz, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah, and Liz is not here. So okay. we have no update on the, on the right. uh, Community Preservation Committee. Thing. Sorry. Um, next agenda item was an update on tracking Chapter 61 properties. And Joan was getting that update, and she is not here. Uh, and she said she really couldn't give me uh, an update through an email, so it would have to be at the next uh, meeting. She could update us on that, where that is. I know she was making good progress. And um, and uh, I, I don't know. I know there's some, uh, we talked about the maps that are available um, that are in the plan. And Joan said she had some. Uh, websites that, uh, to see those maps. I, I thought I had them, but I, uh, I was having trouble finding that. Does anybody else have um, the links to the, the to the maps that show the open space? And oh. I did find the assessor's uh, map, yeah. uh, uh, which has all the parcels and it has the uh, the acreage and a little bit of description. You know who the, the owners are. And I found one that said it was Chapter 61. You know, in a 10-year agreement. But basically, it's not a listing of Chapter 61 properties. I didn't find that information in that uh, 
in that map on the assessor's site. So, uh, but uh, I think Joe knows where it is, so I'll have to find out where that is. Um, and uh, is there any other discussion on this? Uh, without Joan, I think uh, probably need to just put it on. I think we need to hold off until Joan is here because yeah. she's done so much on the open space plan. She can answer those kind of questions. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think that makes sense. All right. <coughs> We'll uh, move on to the next agenda item. It's uh, up six. Uh, discuss the possible participation in the neighborhood outreach project grant program. And uh, from the last meeting, we talked about um, doing the actual outreach to, to landowners to inform them about you know, their different options uh, for whether it's the Chapter 61 or CRs or, or anything else. And so the Previous item, the Chapter 61 update list is kind of key input to that because I think the first step in doing an outreach program would be we have to identify the properties uh, owners that we're going to outreach to. And I think most, from what I've read, um, well actually Chapter 61 is a five acre minimum and most of the outreach programs I saw were using a 10 acre minimum you know, from different towns that have done it. So you know, it depends how many uh, parcels we have that would fall to the category where they uh, would be helpful for them to be informed of their options. So that's why we need that list of uh, Chapter 61 and look at all the parcels, the ones that are not in Chapter 61 as well, because they may not know anything about it that even being an option. So uh, the Chapter 61 list is good, but uh, we look at uh, the assessor's map is really good for identifying properties. You see properties over 10 acres that are, um, you know, say, forested or, and not in Chapter 61 or in a CR, then those um, probably are properties that we would want to um, put on the list to uh, send information and then invite to a meeting. Um, I had done some searches uh, online because I wasn't really sure what it was. So, I, and I have they allocated this September yet that there will be funds available? Because I didn't see that. I only saw from September 2023. Yeah, I know they and said they contact that woman, but I didn't know oh, if you so already no. had. No, I haven't. They uh, they said it would be in the fall when they would right. renew, and you know, the fall just ah, put, so, you know, kind yeah. of started. Um, but we we've got to do this organization work anyways to right. identify the oh, properties. Yeah. So I figure we give them a little more time. Maybe you know, if we don't, hopefully we'll have our um, maybe our list of properties together by October, and um, but and somewhere in that time frame, uh, contact. Um, I think it was Sarah Wells. And, Does uh, Joe need help with it, or is that a one person? I don't know what it well, is. Well, I asked her if she needed help at the last meeting oh, on okay. the Chapter 61 problem. She said no. Okay. So I think she's got that part, but there's going to be more to it because I think we've got to look at all the properties that are not in Chapter 61 as well. And, right. and those are probably even more important because the properties that are in Chapter 61, they already know about it and they're they're making use of it. Uh, and then, you know, they may want to go from a, a, a temporary to, to a permanent um, conservation restriction, you know, so that, that that's where that is. But other landowners that are not in any of these programs are the ones that might benefit uh, more from it because they probably don't either either not interested or they don't know anything about the programs. So, so I had a crazy thought, right? So and it might be totally outrageous and not uh, uh, appropriate, but um, you, in uh, Franconia, where I have my other home. Uh, a lot of times when they have an outreach programs, like that committee will have a table at like an event, a town event. Is that appropriate for us to just have a table that says we're open space, what we do and who we are? And not necessarily, you know, not just specifically, I, I didn't know what we did. You know, I had to research it myself. So as a town, you know, uh, a resident, it, is it beneficial that we kind of like advertise who we are? I, you know, at, and I don't know that the arts festival is appropriate, obviously, and, and here I say that, but I won't be available at that time, but, um, you know, um, the family festival is too late for that, it's next week, but you know what I'm saying, just to, like, that might have been more of what they were trying to do with uh, at-large members for the um, uh, select board, but I just thought that, you know, it's just communication and, uh, and, yeah, I mean, it, you know, is it's that one you thing, but it's, uh, it's, I think the uh, a direct outreach is more direct where you've identified exactly. the, you know, the, the yeah, best the, people. The more you can get the public aware right. of the, the need for preserving open space is really good. Uh, now, the, 
the Arts and Music Festival? Yeah. Okay, I'll be at a table there for the Historical Commission. I'll see. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are kind of covered. Yeah. Uh, so that uh, if you had any material or anything you wanted to hand out or have a brief summary of what we're trying to do. Or what we've done. Uh, you know, it's the first Saturday in October. Right. Yeah, that's pretty good. If we, uh, you know, the only printed literature we'd have is if we got some of those brochures that they said they would provide. Right. At no charge for the outreach program. Um, you know, we could, and, and Maybe we could, I could create some. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. I, as far as information on the committee, maybe yeah. you could, but as far as the options for um, land conservation, that really should be in the brochures from you know, the, the, the trust. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, they had stuff online um, about what it is, you know, informational things. Yeah. But I just, I mean, we this committee has done so much, you know, like Betty's Neck, I visited it. It was only the second time since I've lived here for 39 years, but, you know, and even the other places, I was like, I didn't even know they existed, you know, so uh, I just I just think that it would be great to see this is what they've done, and there's so much more, and this is, you know, how it can be achieved, or, you know, some kind of, I don't know, some kind of promotion, <laughs> publicity, you know, that's all. I was just thinking, just making the town more aware of what the committee is. I, I really didn't know, even though, you know, I came to find out, um, but, you, you know. So, 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 Brian, at the, at the Historical Commission table, do you also, do you, say, do you talk about the Open Space Committee at all there, or strictly the... Well, we don't normally, but I mean, you know, if, if you had kind of like add it to it, you know, I mean, uh, the Historical Society, the Historical Commission, uh, be represented, and I don't know, open space should be included in, at one, could be included at one table. We would have to have some sort of brochure made up. Right, then. right. I, I could do that. Um, you know, I mean, it's going to be, you know, I'm going to be doing it through PowerPoint or whatever, and, and you know, um, you know, I don't, would have to get it printed. So I didn't even know even you know how much if there is I didn't get to look into that if there's a budget line for this committee there isn't anything for a budget no. Line. No. Okay. Um, all right but to um, the printing of it we probably wouldn't need that many right so are we, are we talking about 50 pieces of paper right you know I mean I can certainly print that off right right but are, are you talking a one page uh, informational a I'm probably a tri tri yeah yeah so, I mean, great idea. I mean, I think it's an idea. If, if yeah. I, if I mean, uh, if you hand them something and they take it with them and they read it, you know, later or whatever, they get an idea of what's going on. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So. All right, so on that, but that's uh, the first week in October? Mm -hmm. Very Saturday. First Saturday. Yeah. I can't attend. I actually, well, I don't know, yeah, I'm feeling saying that. I'm having surgery, so. Yeah, I'm not but I could be able to, either. I wouldn't be able to attend, but, um, you know. I well, could I try to make a point of getting to as many things as I can get to. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, um, but I would be able to produce the trifold. Yeah, or, that would be good, and I could hand it out there. Yeah. And if you need help, just ask. Yeah. Hmm? If you need help, just ask. If you want a, a second person at the booth. Yeah. I mean, we'll probably just have a flat table and some things on display, and uh, you know, it's a question of how many chairs we bring or get. Uh, however, yeah. and what what hours is that? I don't know the schedule I right now. I thought it was now. ten to four. Oh, that might be the festival. ten to something. I think yeah. ten to four sounds right. Yeah. Well, if anybody is going to be around and wants to volunteer to, be I think at the I'll table. be there for the Lions Club. Oh, so you'll yeah, be, you'll, you'll be busy. Oh, okay. Yeah, on the they, yeah, okay. they had plans for the fifth. So, yeah. Last year it was very windy. Yeah. yeah. But you know, it's just the luck of whatever you get. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's too early to tell now. Um, well, if you want to put okay. something together, but we can see our let's see. This is our next meeting is like two two days before that, right? Yeah. Yes. Which I'll yeah, I'll be here for the meeting. I'm just yeah. going on Friday. To so if you were to put a little flyer together, where you both bring it to the meeting, look at it, and then just print off like 50 copies on the home printer or something. 
and then uh, maybe there's a volunteer to, to join uh, Brian at the table that's available, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure we got room, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we can give it a try. All right, So yeah. if you want to put that together, we'll take a look at it uh, on uh, October 3rd, I think is, uh, is that okay. the that's our next meeting. Yeah. Well, that's our next meeting. Yeah, Third. yeah, yep. and, and the festival's the fifth, two, two days later. Yep. So that could work. So informational Just trifold on the open space committee and what we've done, not on the sixty-one. If I get yeah, something yeah. together, we can look at it. Yeah, <laughs> and you don't want to go into detail on that because uh, it's really uh, beyond the, uh, the, yeah. the scope of uh, what we do. Explain. Uh, uh, just for information's okay. sake, if I'm there for the Lions Club and there's more than me there, I could come over to the historical uh, committee and, mm -hmm. and help out. Okay, so I'll be wearing my Lions shirt, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay, you know. Yeah. We, that's you a know, community thing, too, right? Uh, we're glad to have anybody. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, we'll definitely have that on the agenda for, for next meeting and if you, if you yeah. bring, bring the flyer. I don't know exactly where we're setting up, yeah. but, you know, because probably I'm assuming it's going to be in the old town hall, but I'm not really sure right now. That's what I heard too. Yes. Yeah. And maybe our tents will be right next to each other. That would work really well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Double duty. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, it'll be interesting. Yeah. 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 Good idea. Yeah. So, any more discussion on that? Okay. Um, Next item is the uh, uh, review the open space committee town webpage for needed updates. And uh, Joan had volunteered to do a red line, but I, Devin, you said you had uh, done yeah, something. Yeah, I, I sent it to uh, Tracy. Okay, what? The, the changes. Basically, the changes were just the day and the time, the place, yep. and not the time. Okay, yeah, so those things. So the, as far as any historical update on accomplishments, that, that could be later. But you, the the things that were definitely uh, needed to be updated or, or, or should be taken care of. So Tracy has those, and um, did she say when she had make the, be able to make the updates? Um, I think her father just died. So I don't know. Okay. Yeah. All right, so probably in the next few weeks anyway, so at least that part will be done. Mm -hmm. And when Joan gets back uh, to the next meeting, we can see if there's any uh, update on the uh, historical accomplishments that needs to be done, and maybe not, maybe it's fine. Uh, it made a uh, discussion of the select board meeting of August 26th, their agenda item 6, which was on the 40B project mitigation and overview of the accessory dwelling units legislation. And I know, uh, uh, and Lynn, you were there, right? Would you see uh, me? Yeah, yeah I, I mean, sure, <laughs> yeah, we, couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't talk, we couldn't talk, I mean, I, mean, I was pretty sure that was you. And uh, the two of us were there. Did anybody else watch the uh, uh, the recording? Uh, um, I deal, as far as uh, comments on it, what I got out of it on the uh, 40B project mitigation was that um, there is a uh, I have some notes here, but it's uh, it's called a, a lip, but it's called a friendly 40B. So the developer would meet with the uh, I think it's with the, the zoning board or select board. And they discuss um, uh, uh, different things to integrate into the development, which is a lot of like we saw with the uh, Lakeville Hospital, where they put walking trails in, more open space, um, sidewalks, and things like that. So the change in the legislation, I think it's, uh, and it was called a, a LIP. I don't know if uh, yeah, you recall what that yeah, stands that was for. Yeah, that's what it was. I wrote it down. I don't think I wrote it. I wrote it, but I can't really read it. It's. Um, Something an initiative project, but it uh, what is it? It's a uh, where they they meet and, and negotiate different things to get integrated in there that make it uh, more um, you know just more agreeable uh, development you know uh, and some of the things they talked about were you know walking trails, more open space, sidewalks, public access, and road improvements for traffic. So a lot of the things that we saw in the uh, Lakeville Hospital presentation. Um, but they did say that none, none of the developments are uh, friendly 40 Bs right now. They're, right. you know, because I think this, uh, I think this legislation just came through. Right. But it seems like they're cooperating uh, to some extent, anyways. I think. Uh, 
Go ahead. Um, I, I think they said, I think I asked how many parking spots there were going to be for people in the town to go and walk around. Well, what, the, the hospital, well, we actually have that as a separate item to, to go into detail on that one. But that's, this was just a general uh, overview of the new legislation, and we were invited to the meeting so we would be aware of you know, what was going on. So that's a, a new, uh, it's called the Friendly 40B, is the, uh, but it's, it's, it's an LIP and um, allows for a lot of these uh, things to get negotiated early on in the project which is, is a good idea. So that was sounded good. Yeah. Lynn, did you get anything else on that part of it? No, I just, no, I was going where she was going, actually. <laughs> All right, we're, we're going to talk about that <laughs> uh, pretty little... soon. Uh, I, I put this first because to go over the legislation yeah. first. And uh, the other thing was the... Um, ADUs. Yeah, the ADUs, the uh, what added dwelling units. And uh, so I, I think that's... Uh, now, they're allowed on any residential um, zoned property now, and you need a special permit for more than one, but um, just because of the way things are changing, people not being able to afford houses, a lot more, there's a lot more interest in putting a, a second unit on a property. And uh, so uh, the legislation came through that it's any residential zone property, you can do put one on, need a special permit to do two, and uh, uh, seems like a good idea. Yeah so, yeah, so the accessory dwelling units, so they were like, they had to be, um, whatever, the, whatever the lesser was, 900 square feet or half of the principal, half of the square feet of the principal property. And they could be, um, they could be one floor, they could be as not many floors as the principal property. And um, the concern is really is, you know, I mean, if everyone puts one on their property, um, it could be a lot of work for a board of health and everyone else. So. Um, it's, um, yeah, and it's, it, she also stated that we can't put unreasonable uh, zoning um, restrictions on them. Mm -hmm. So whatever we do for zoning now is really has to apply, has to pass Title V, um, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, they can't have, so I think right. that was pretty yeah. much it. But it, I mean, it yeah. is a good idea because seniors can't afford any place to live now and also, um, you know, um, children, yep. and it's, everything is so unaffordable. But you know, it'll yeah. be uh, it'll be um, added, you yeah. know, stress to the uh, town. So, but I don't think there's much we can do about it. No, Massachusetts right. passed it, and, yeah. it, and it's it's going to be the rules are going to be. When did she say October? The right. final rules before yeah. our town meeting, they wouldn't have the final. Of course, you know, uh, the state state passes things that they don't have all the regulations, so they're still pending. So we couldn't really put anything, uh, present anything to our November meeting because they wouldn't have the regu regulations finalized then. So mm -hmm. maybe the February will know more. So. Yeah, and, you know, and it's, uh, as far as on the property, you still have all the uh, you know, distances from the property lines and all that, it still, still all applies. So and I think, you know, given the economy and yeah. the houses are going, it, it does seem like it's uh, Kind of a necessary thing to do. Yeah, if they didn't go over non-conforming lots. I didn't hear anything about those, but because there's a lot of them, you know, on, on the pond. Uh, anyway, so that was a just a uh, legislative update overview that was was given. Any questions or? And if you did want to see, you can always go back and look at the recording of the select board's last meeting. Uh, yeah, to watch it. It's probably about a half hour long, I think. Okay. All right. Uh, next item: um, uh, discussion of the uh, uh, the remote meeting we had on August twentieth, uh, where uh, Rhino Capital Advisors uh, gave a presentation on the Lakeville State Hospital redevelopment proposal and introduction to that. Um, and I, I think I, it was at a request of the. Uh, CPC, I think that uh, they you know get us up to date on it. So um, just uh, open uh, for discussion. Anybody thoughts on what they saw, what they liked, didn't like, or any inputs, uh, the changes, they might want to give feedback to, to Rhino Capital. I was. Uh, I think that's where I was asking the question right. about parking and right. yep. the nature of four spaces. Yep. No, I would agree that's pretty minimal, and uh, 
I, uh, I, you know, they're saying it's public access. Right. It's not very much, and in, in reality, how, how many people would do you think would would use it's a uh, it's like a dog walking trail, I guess. Well, I think many people. It would, would be. Yeah. I would think so. It's a beautiful property up there. Okay, so maybe that would be one input to to uh, make sure there is public use to increase the parking. It was discussed a little bit during the meeting yeah. that they you know, they have other parking there, but there were you know, ones designated for that trail. But uh, yeah, it could be definitely a, a comment to in increase the public parking access for the uh, walking trail. Because you can't park on the street. Right. So, four cars is not meant. Yeah, I mean, they're proposing it as an opportunity for open space for the community, but it's not really accessible. No. Yeah. Um, the other thing was the question was kind of not really answered about who's going to maintain it. Yeah, they, they said that wasn't determined yet. And what I see is if, <clears throat> if uh, the residents are doing it through an HOA, they're, they're paying for the maintenance, right. and yet it's public access, so right. here's where the conflict is. So with a, 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 you know, they're in negotiation on that. So the maintenance is the town going to get and, you know pick up part of the tab or the, uh, the HOA? And th that's not. Uh, we have to leave that up to them. Yeah, and uh, I mean, they're in negotiation on that, yeah. on that maintenance. But that, that is true. If, it, it's, if it's not maintained, it's going to get run down. But I think one way or another, it's probably if the town doesn't want to get involved, then it's going to be the HOA. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but that's not for us to decide. Right. Yeah, but the HOA can say you can't come up. Right, uh, yeah, if, so they are, if they're paying for the maintenance. So uh, that's why, so you that know, it's a little bit premature and promising in this to us. Right, I, I think they're, you know, they're, they they put a number of things into the proposal to make it more palatable to the town. Right. And so there's, you know, kind of a bug offering, but how limited is it really with the limited parking and what's going to happen over time? Right, right. But, um, you know, that's where... Uh, all the other, you know, the, the select board and zoning board and all that, you know, and dig right. deeper into that. As I understood it, the, the homeowners association will take over the maintenance of the property. Yeah. Well, yeah, they we we t asked them specifically about the walking trails that were going yeah. to be public access, and they said that was still in negotiation. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Did they mention if the walking trails? Would it be lighted? They didn't. They, they didn't. No, I don't think so. Right. Yeah, probably not. It would definitely be more expensive, more maintenance. So. Yeah, I know. <coughs> I, just, I didn't think so. I just thought it was. Any other comments on the uh, Phil Hospital? I know, uh, yeah, Joan, Joan gave me a few here. Um, well, as you said, um, I think we might need to have a little more info on where the water is coming from. But, um, and the cleanup of the dump areas, which, uh, again, that's, uh, I, I know that's all in the proposal. Uh, yeah, it was discussed, yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's supposed to be totally removed, so I yeah. think that's covered. And how the open space they plan to keep has any benefit to the residents of Lakeville, which we just talked about with the limited parking. Uh, since there will be no parking for use of the walking trail, it that, but it's not no parking, but it's very limited. Yeah. So those, those were Joan's comments. So it seems like, uh, you know, I, I don't know about the, uh, anything about the water um, source, but I think that was going to be, wasn't that going to be on Taunton water or something? Uh, I mean, that's... Right, that's again, what it's going to be. Yeah. That's what they said. Yeah. So that should be fine. Because part of 79 is Taunton. Yeah, it comes up from Taunton. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see. Right, right by there. Yeah, so I think the water's covered, and they did say they're, in, and it's right in the proposal written in there that they're doing the full cleanup uh, of the dump areas. And um, other than that, I think, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's be good to reuse the property. You know, the you know, hospital's been vacant there for 30 years, and it is a, a so nice property is going to make things a little more congested and busier over there, but uh, there's nothing we can do about that. 
but at least they're putting some open space and some trails in. I think if it goes through the way they're talking about it, it's going to be fantastic. It's mm -hmm. just wonderful. It just looks terrible now. Yeah, yeah. I think it would be an improvement. But any other comments? Uh, uh, all right. Move on to the next agenda item. Um, okay, that's just any uh, new business. Now, I, other than what we've talked about, I don't have any other correspondence or announcements. Um, so, agenda items for next meeting, uh, we will uh, put on uh, Lynn's suggestion of the uh, Open Space Committee. Promotion. Did anybody? Yeah, promotion. Did anybody hear anything about the pig farm of Howland? Six hundred uh, acres. No. Uh, Norm Orall told me, he took me aside, he says, it may be too late, but I think a, a contractor already bought the 600 acres of the old pig farm. That's what it's called. And where is that? Off Howland. I don't oh, know okay. Exactly right. I saw that on the assessor's site. Yeah, I was wondering, on August 12th, the sale went through. So, we don't, that's, that's the next thing that's going to happen. It's, yeah. it's slated for industrial only right now. But we figure he's probably going to get it changed over. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I don't. I don't Not really. But. Yeah. I think it, it's actually called Thirty Howland LLC. Okay. Thirty Howland Road LLC. Uh, I'll put it on the agenda for, for next time. Everybody uh, wants to look into it, see so we can find out. So I didn't know that that was that was the old. Norm, Norm pulled me aside. He was very serious about. it. He says I can't believe this. He says I didn't even hear about it, and and it's already done. It's done. Okay. Yeah, I yeah, I know that. Too, about two weeks ago. Oh boy. Nobody heard anything. Yeah, that's true because the sale is done. I don't know how this book. Do we know who bought it? Just a, a contractor. Yeah, it's a, it's an LLC. Name. It's just that's all it says. Uh, so yeah, that'll be the next big thing coming up. Yeah. All right, so we'll put it on the agenda um, to uh, find out, see what we can find out about for next meeting to discuss. Uh, what's going on with that property because it is I mean, it's almost 600 acres of uh, pretty much farm and forest land that's just been sold that yeah. it backs up to the state forest or something like that so yeah there's a uh, fishing fishing wildlife to, uh, lakeville is supposed to have the right of first refusal and i didn't hear anything about that i didn't either so i just i just saw that today I don't remember his last name. Bob. He's the uh, um, commission uh, conservation. At the meeting, were you at when he t was speaking? They were talking about the land oh, manager and yeah, all I, that. I don't remember his name. Okay. Um, so he was talking about how how the town. He wanted to learn how the town can meet safe harbor threshold. And I, I found I threw it away actually because it was from 2018. Um, but I, I don't know if anybody, you know, if they've talked more about that, if he has more information on that. Uh, I don't think he did because they were talking about when they wanted to add to, um, was it the planning board wanted to add staff? Um, yeah, but I, I yeah, there's something called, I thought that Easton did it, um, actually. Somebody mentioned that Easton had achieved it. So I don't know how they achieved that. You, you know, with the state, because the state is just authorizing 40B housing and all of that. So oh, it's to create a safe harbor threshold. that They can't mandate it? Well, I, I think there, there's a, a percent of housing that has to be in it. And he, and he was saying it was a moving target that we can never get to it. You know, right. you know we, we build well, because this. Well, because they, crea yeah. they create more uh, population. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah so. Yeah. Um, but uh, I understand Easton did achieve it. Or he said that he thought they did. No. Is that something? I guess that's not in our purview. No, that sounds it's like it's probably the probably the conservation commission. <laughs> He's asking the, the questions with the yeah. select board. Well. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's definitely a lot of pressure to for the 40B development, and uh, you know we got you know, Rocky Woods in the hospital area now, and who knows about Howland? Yeah, <laughs> but. Um, I mean, you know, I don't know if the town is doing this, but if they're saying they have so many allocated to 40B, do we have any way to make sure they're meeting that count? Do you know what I'm saying? Well, I, I'm sure the uh, assessor's Planning. office has all that information, and you know, they have all the state legislation what they uh, what they have to meet, and. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's in their hands. That's in their <laughs> hands. I thought, you could join that committee also. No. <laughs> I thought the 40 Bs we have now yeah. have expiration dates on. They do. That's oh, they do. And thing. that we uh, uh, maybe could extend them, but I don't know. Who's and coming up, you know, for the next whatever the next 40 Bs are, they want to make it. I thought perpetual or something like that. Well, 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 do you know what? How many years are on the Is previous 30? 40 bees? 25, I oh, think. 25, and then they expire. So that allows you to need to have to put more on. Right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's be beyond this uh, uh, committee. It's not our, yeah, that's, that's it's a, not our that's a very serious long-term uh, legislation. Yeah. Mm, but, but You're not going to be around in 25 years. Well, yeah. <laughs> it still wouldn't be on this committee. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be around to it. Yeah, yeah, you will. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, so for agenda item for the next time, we'll put on, uh, we'll see if we can find out about the uh, 30 Howland LLC. We got the uh, that promotion, uh, the uh, Open Space Committee, and um, I'll have to look into how to get um, you know, what feedback we have back to Rhino Capital. Um, and I think, is there any uh, anything else we need to discuss before we go to uh, the next meeting would be the first Thursday in October is October 3rd, 6 p.m. here at the Lakeville Senior Center, and which is two days before the Arts uh, uh, Festival. Um, but uh, anything else we need to discuss before we uh, move to adjourn? Okay, uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? Second. Do, who gave the motion? A motion to adjourn. <laughs> Second. Second. All right, uh, meeting adjourned. <laughs>